All right, guys, we are doing a spacey score on Curse of the Mummy. And I'm going to tell you right now, when this table was first released, um, I played it a lot. I played it a lot in desktop mode. I haven't played it a lot um, since being in cabinet mode, uh, only just because of time and stuff. So I'm, I'm keen to get back into this and really see how it translates into a real cabinet now because I had a lot of fun with this table on desktop mode. So let's get ready to do another spacey score, guys, and um, get in and play this table. Straight away, this translates pretty well um, from a cabinet view perspective. It's a beautiful lighting change there, sort of get to that midnight sort of look. Two little upper play fields and under the waterfall. Ah, over the back, I come back, yes, nice. Almost completed that bridge. Okay, this time, this is pretty interesting. So it's gonna be interesting in cabinet mode doing this, but it shouldn't be much different from the sort of just a little delay, delay to it. Not delay, but you, when the mouth comes out, it takes a little bit, so you've got to just get it a little bit before the ball comes down. And as they get faster like that, it comes a little harder. Ah, so you've got to try and predict it. Okay. That's pretty cool. Tilted it. Do remember, even in desktop, this table can be fairly brutal. And part of that's going out the outlines, but also just around here, yeah, it's, it ping pongs around a little bit and you can lose a lot of balls just from flicking off the bottom of the slings on this table, which is a bit of a shame actually. Again, as a, as a comparison of the gold necklace, start collecting, right flipper get the points, left flip will do the collection. Change the camera view mode again, which we don't want in cabinet mode. Pyramid turns around like Indiana Jones and the idol. Wow, well, that's just a little bit too quick. So again, the physics here are let down slightly. This is such a nice, nice look with the lighting and the fire that was on the ball there. Trying to get those stones. Oh, wow. Then almost a dawn to daylight. And then back again. That's <laughs> such a nice, a nice lighting effect there, guys. Even, even on a game, game over, I'm enjoying the, uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying the effects. All right, let's, let's go, let's go again. Oh, 
always worry when it flicks out like that. Okay. I do find it a little hard to aim my shots with the ball just pinging around as much as it does. And I did notice that, you know, on the desktop table, even though I love this table, there was always this problem of this, the ball just moving, just too ping-pongy on this table. It's a shame because everything else is mint so good on this table which we no doubt will see when we get to a spacey score but let's keep the assessment going while we play here ah damn it so many rollovers there it's got to time you Time your shots, gotta get those bridge pieces. Again. Quite, quite a trick in that. Pyramid ball. glowing flippers going on here guys very cool those alligators in the bumper there got these guys here to, sh to get those ones there again just a little fast with these shots two more there on the right Three more. Here we go. Oh, damn, that was actually my fault. Should have tipped that off the left flipper. Okay, had a bit of a a run there. Again, it's such a it's a really nice flowing table. This and uh, lots of shots to go for. And I'm sure that will be reflected in the scores when we get there, guys. But is let down a little bit with the ping pong physics such a shame because this would be just sensational if it had some weight and it's a little bit of feeling to the ball like that stuff's just just too too weird <laughs> hey saved it here's the fire effects again oh. looks so nice fire particle effects on these balls. Of course Tales of the Arabian Nights has that as well on Zen's additional graphics modes. Enjoying it though, guys, regardless of the slightly wonky physics. I'm enjoying it a lot. We need to reach the next oasis before we a bit of a, a repeat shot. Which 
supposed to get in there, right guys? I can't make the shot. Ah. Music's starting to crank up. Wow. Wow. Starting to shake the machine. There's no accelerometer support. As I'm shaking this, starting to shake the machine, guys. That's how much I am actually getting into this game right here. Way to lose a ball after all that. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that was probably a fairly lengthy game, but we're gonna have we're gonna have one more, guys. We're gonna have one more. So I want to get a bit of a feeling. Because now I've played this for a while and I can get a bit of a game going. I want to get a bit of a feeling for the variance. Because there was quite a bit of me just struggling to get a shot there and it sort of table stayed the same for a bit, which you know it's fair enough if you're not making the shots. But as I play, I just want to get this feel of the challenge of getting certain things going, making certain shots, and really just a good feel of the physics. I mean there are elements that do work well. And again, guys, I think, you know, the fact that I'm not saying much is always a good sign. <laughs> it's always a good sign. Because I'm focusing more on the game than trying to critique it while I play. And there's no doubt, you know, and it's the second game. It's just, even though I'm repeating this shot, for example, which, which seems to be relatively easy to do, there's still multiple shots through the middle. There's quite a wide one, that one there, pick up. I'm trying to get on the outside of that now, actually. I'm trying to come back and try that again. Yeah, I'm moving it out of orbit to get up the top there. Ah, oh, damn it. That wasn't very good. Another part of the bridge down. Oh. 
in the middle here. Yep. And the pyramid ball, one out of three lock. Oasis Rush. Yeah, that particular shot. And we got another one down from that side. I'm gonna get her in that orbit again. Well, that side. And one way of getting up there. Ah! Yes. <laughs> yes, guys. Uh, those outer lanes, it's just a horrible way of dying. Oh, oh shoot. I was a DMD game there and I forgot it was a jump. Too busy worrying about going down the outside there. Okay, which one's the flashing roller? Oh, it's really actually hard to see. Like if that wasn't doing the plunger animation, I could probably see much better at getting that skill shot. Zen, turn the animations off in cabinet mode, please, or give us an option. <laughs> give us an option. Wow, I'm, I'm working out here now. Right. Oh man, we're all the way all the way across too. We've got the fluoro flippers happening. Here we go guys, here we go. It's all happening. <laughs> it's all happening. And the thing is, I haven't even had a multi-ball, right? And I feel like I've had a frantic game. Without one. We need some light. Use the torches there. Try, I'm trying to get that out of orbit. Oh, just trying to be too clever there. I was trying to touch it over and then get out over to the right and try and finish that bridge. Okay guys, we gotta we gotta we gotta wrap this up and give it a, a spacey score. We'll turn this down a bit. I think my highest all time uh, was know, about 70 something when it was back on the uh, on the desktop and early access. Um, now another one that doesn't flick around at the start. Oh no, here we go. It does, I spoke too soon. <laughs> so guys, I am actually, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating now. I'm, 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 I had a, I had a couple of really good games there. But let's get into the scoring because there's some definitely some nuances in this table. We're going to start with the overall theme. Again, I love this sort of theme. Reminds me of a Tales of the Arabian Nights. It's that sort of theme. I'm a little bit biased towards that, to be honest. Um, but without a doubt, I mean, it's a cool theme to, to have. Um, the sort of, you know, Egyptian, you know, mummy type theme. It's just, 
it's, it, it translates really well to, to a pinball machine. And there are quite a few, if I think about it, machines in this sort of, in this space. We'll look about real machines, but great theme. I'm giving it a nine. I love it. All right, atmosphere. Okay, now interestingly, yeah, so it's got the music, it's got the look, it's got the, so that all adds to an atmosphere. Um, it's just, it's an interesting one actually, because I'm more playing in the game. There's a lot more gameplay going on than actually absorbing the atmosphere. So that's a bit of an, an interesting aspect. But the whole, the, like the colors and the lights and the, uh, it, it all comes together. You, you, it feels complete. So I, I don't think I'll mark it down because you don't feel enveloped by the, the atmosphere because of the good gameplay. That's a bit wrong. So it still needs to be right up there and I'm going to give it an eight, eight on the atmosphere. The layout <clears throat> realism for a, a real table, um, this layout's actually really, really nice. Um, I don't know how well it would translate into an actual real table as such with the way it's laid out. I think it would. I really like those extra two play fields up the top, the little mini play fields. Um, it's just a it's it's just a nice. I was going to ping it, but we'll let it we'll let it scroll around. It's a nice design. It's a very nice design, um, and that plays into later on. We talk about interesting shots. So, yeah, the layout is is good. Even dropping through here into the middle, where the ramps are, it's a little wide here. So you know, yeah, I'm going to give it a solid solid eight for the layout. I I really do like it. Uh, table artwork is really nice. It's really nicely done. It's not overly detailed, but it's but it's nice. It, it reminds me a little bit of Iron Maiden actually, uh, in terms of, of of Stern. But yeah, colours are nice. It's quite it is quite sparse, but that does work really well. Not too keen on the watercolour to be to be fair. Uh, on the middle there but all of this the sandy colors and it's just yeah it it's done really really well so i'm going to give and on the, the walls there and the yeah it's it's yeah it seems pretty sparse around here but overall it's really nice it looks like a really beautiful table again if this was a real table and had this artwork you'd be like yeah this is called cool. nine to go, go straight for a nine there all right, animations. Animations are quite good. Um, they're quite sort of small in their detail and, and what's going on there. Um, so it's not huge. I'd give it a seven on the animations. Graphical effects, uh, very nice. Fireballs, really nice. Um, trying to think, though, if there's a lot of other effects going on. A little waterfall thing. The water dripping off the bottom there is not that great, to be honest. But, yeah, I think the effects are uh, very nice, very good. Um, and, by the way, that lighting change before also deserved that high lighting score when it was changing from night to day. That looks sensational. Um, but, anyway, um, we'll get to lighting in a minute. <laughs> Graphical effects, I think it's a six. Yeah, it's not huge. So... Now, if we talk about lighting, and just as I touched on, the, the change in, in colours from night to day is done so well. There's a lot of depth to this table, uh, really good for a cabinet mode. It looks really nice. When I'm playing it, I don't feel like it's flat. I feel like, you know, I'm playing a good table um, with depth. And it's nice. It's just, be it's really nice. And especially going into those dark modes and the fireball, flicking around and lighting up everything. I'm going to give this a 10, guys, for lighting. I just love it. I really, really do. It deserves a 10. DMD. DMD's nice. It's nicely designed. Um, it's fairly clear on what it's saying and so forth. Uh, I found it difficult, actually, just to actually read what was going on because, again, the speed of the table due to, due to the bit of the ping-pong physics. But ultimately, the DMD is very nice, done well. I'm going to give it a 9. Now music. Now this music does repeat quite a bit. Um, and some people might find that annoying. I don't mind it. I, again, I like this sort of style of music. 
uh, and, and especially in this theme of, of the table. But it does seem like it does change. I heard it change once. I'm not, not sure if there's more changes. Um, I think it could change a little bit more. You might get sick of it after a while. But I'm still going to put it up there. But I'll put it up as an 8. Um, I think originally I would have scored this much, much higher. But I think now playing it a few times, uh, yeah, it might get a little repetitive. But it is really nice getting an 8. Sound effects. Sound effects are cool. Um... Nothing amazing though in there that really punches you, but it's it's they're, they're good. Uh, it's interesting actually. Yeah, there's some nice ones in there. It's not bad. It's not good. I'm going to give it a seven. Now callouts. Uh, now I had the callouts down a bit, and you may not have even been able to hear them that well. This table in particular, the woman that's calling out constantly is a little bit. Uh, gets on your nerves after a while and just the voice type I don't know it's just I don't know it, it just sounds a bit weak um, it's a little bit of a shame it would be nice if that was sort of mixed up with some other voices so I think from a voice perspective this is is quite a weak table in that that, that view which is a shame we're gonna give it a five on the voices on the call outs okay so flow yeah it flows really well again the ping pong physics sort of bouncing around a bit but it does flow it flows nicely you up through the shots even the the small bits of shooting up here even though if you call that like short short flow it all works it all works really well but the general flow of it is really good um those outlines are problematic but the the flow is really good i'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a nine because it really does flow nicely that's all good part of the design shot interest is good so there's a lot of different things that you can do there and up in the top play fields and up through the middle and under the waterfall and orbits around the side um, there's a lot of shot interest i think it's done very well it's cool hitting those um, so yeah i'm going to give the shot interest it's a good nine. It's a good. It's a, a table that you really can flick around and 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 go for different shots. I like it. It's a nine. Okay, so the challenge. Yeah, there's definitely a challenge, guys, because I absolutely have a workout on this game and I'm focused and I'm really trying to play it and play it well. Um, you can just let down a little bit on the physics, but I don't want to actually um, put the challenge down because of that. And I think this table has got a really strong challenge. I'm giving it a nine. And so yeah, we get to the physics feel, and such a shame. I tell you what, if this, and I think Deep has something to do with this table, right? He's on the part of, I think he designed this table. <laughs> it's not this. And so no excuses, Deep. But I know this was slightly earlier on when this was made, and the physics have, have have moved forward and improved even further. And again, I'm really impressed with the very latest tables that have come out, which are scoring eights at the moment consistently. Uh, and that was really to sort of set a level if anything out of all the tables so far all those eights were almost sort of tens in terms of the the best that Zen can offer but I think there's more room there's potentially more headroom just to find that game that actually just goes wow this plays exactly like a pinball machine that would that would be a 10 so this one um yeah bummer it's just um it's just all that bouncing around and it makes it difficult down there for the wrong reasons uh, and yeah, so I'm going to give it, it's not terrible, but it's, yeah, it's not great. So I think, still, the table still plays relatively well though. So I'm going to give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven on physics. It's one down from, from the eight. Again, I, I wish they could tweak this table. This, this would, this would, that would even make it even more awesome. Fun factor. Uh, it is a fun game, and again, the sort of theme is midway between something, you know, dark and mysterious to something sort of, uh, you know, fun and interesting. So it gets a relatively good score um, on the fun factor. Uh, it is fun to play. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an eight. I think it's, it is a fun, fun table to play. Replayability, without a doubt, guys. I come, I've come back to this. I've played it heaps when I was doing the desktop, over and over. I still love it. I still love it in this this format. 
just a few of those little frustrating things just in relation to the physics if that was fixed re replayability would be a straight out 10 i'm going to give it a nine just because it sort of dip, dips off a little bit clearly i'm coming back to play this table guys <laughs> loving it and the spacey's x factor okay we had a little bit of a mode in there that was fairly interesting with the alligators grabbing the ball and stuff that was pretty cool um, the overall layout of this though is, is, is very nice. There's some really nice elements here guys that does deserve sort of an X Factor rating in here. Um, it's just got that and, and then the overall theme and, and this artwork and stuff again reminds me of a little bit of an Iron Maiden type of feel um, and style and stuff. So it's got an X Factor for sure and I'm going to, I think it deserves where I've you know potentially knocked it down a little bit. I think it needs to be propped up a little bit because it's just that sort of table. I want to come back. I'll play it. I'll show people it. It's going to get a five, five on the X Factor guys. Alrighty, so there we go. That was fun to play and uh, interesting. I'm sure now that we get to a spacey score and we can see it lined up with all the other tables in this series so far. We keep on going guys, all the way through the Zen original license tables. Enjoy the stuff, remember to subscribe, like and all that good stuff. Make sure you comment, what do you think about this table? Love to hear, until next time guys, keep flipping, ciao for now.